and welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, we are the McKnight Twins. My name is Abby. My name is Emily. And for today's video, we are doing our recommendations a video for the Sephora sale coming up. Mm -hmm. We are so excited. Emily and I go so hard for these <laughs> sales. We go too hard, you know, but we're here today to share with you guys what we recommend you guys spend your money on. Mm -hmm. We will go ahead and insert a photo on the screen right now with information about the sale. So when it starts and for however you are, like if you're a Beauty Insider Rouge or VIB. So yeah, luckily Emily and I are Rouge. Yeah. So we have I feel access. like it's because of these sales. Yeah, it because is. Because we, we like, I at least wait to buy it till the sale. Yeah. yeah. Because they've been having them more often, so. Yeah. Um, but also, we didn't want to make this video too long, so we might be adding more in the description below on more yeah. products that we recommend to you guys, but just didn't make it into this video because we kind of want to make this video geared more towards newer products that we haven't really talked about too much. Yeah. So we want to make it a little bit more interesting because we've done a recommendations video before. So without further ado, let's get into it. Yes. So let's do it. We let's start with foundation. I feel like we only have two we want to talk about. Okay. Um, the first one we always talk about this. We just have to always give it a shout out because mm -hmm. it's our go-to, our favorite for life, the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation. Mm -hmm. Obsessed with that foundation. If you guys are not new here, then you know that. And just we've tried so many foundations and nothing compares. Mm -hmm. It's the most beautiful coverage. It's like a medium to full coverage not matte not dewy it's like the perfect finish mm -hmm. just everything about it is a 10 out of 10. 10. i can't we wear it every time we film mm -hmm. if you see us filming nine out of ten times we're wearing the nars foundation mm -hmm. so that is a must for yes. the sale and then the other one we want to recommend is the dior what is it called face and body foundation backstage face and body foundation yeah, yeah. that's a more of like a summertime foundation we loved that on our vacation in mexico mm -hmm. and looking back on the videos it's like dang our foundation looks really good seriously it's more like skin like than the nars it mm -hmm. has less coverage but it's just so pretty on the skin mm -hmm. and it's a little less thick yeah. but it gives such good coverage so it just looks beautiful like it melts into your skin and just it's like a seamless foundation yeah. and I just absolutely love it and I cannot wait to start pulling that baby out of my drawer. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I like feel like it's more of a summer foundation. It's definitely year round, but for me and Abby, we reach for it more in the summer. I so. think it's because we feel more confident without makeup in the summer, mm -hmm. like because we have a little tan and our freckles come out and I feel yeah. like we just don't want as much coverage. I don't really like having a full coverage foundation in the summer when yeah. I actually have a little color to me. Yeah. So that's why I like it in the summer. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving along. Obviously, we're gonna mention this. I feel like you have to pick this up during the sale. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I just picked Love up a brand new one. So good. Um, we get it in the shade of 4.5, and we also get 5.5. Yeah, um, I'm like I have both, but yeah, I personally like the 5.5 better, just because it's a little bit more bronzy. I feel like it's just so pretty. And even if you don't want to wear makeup at all, you just do your skincare mm -hmm. routine and then put this on, like on the points of your face you kind of want highlighted it's just so pretty mm -hmm. and it's just ugh, it just makes you look so youthful glowy radiant i love this i don't stuff. know why that just reminded me of the drunk elephant like anti-pollution sunshine drops oh, yeah. i kind of want to get those this time i like i ran out of those um and i'm going on vacation next month so I feel like that product and the sunshine drops are just such a good summer staple because mm -hmm. you can just add it to your bare skin. Like Abby said, if you just have a really moisturized face and it just like adds like the tiniest amount of coverage. Yeah. But just makes it look like your skin is amazing and glowing. So. Yeah. It kind of blurs out your skin a little bit too. Mm -hmm. it's just obviously it's meant to be like a filter on your face in mm -hmm. real life. And I feel like it does give that effect. Yeah. It's just beautiful, stunning. I love this product. It's worth every penny. It's out of stock a lot. So I'm hoping that it's fully stocked for the sale for everyone. Hopefully everyone can get their hands on it because it's so good. I know, I feel like I can't do my makeup without it. No, I cannot. Um, another kind of priming product, or I guess, that's, I consider that a priming product because I always wear it underneath foundation. Same. Um, but this is a good primer. This is the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Primer. This is like the newer version, um, but I do like their other one as well. But this one is just such a good consistency. It is so thick and like my, my hands are not that. fake tan right now. So just ignore that. Oop, I just did way too much. But like, give me your hand. It is oh, just wow. so nice. It almost has like a silicone Ooh, yeah, it's feel. Smoothing. Yeah, so it kind of blurs out your skin. I just absolutely love the way this feels and the way that it makes my foundation like glide over the top yeah. and like set. 
So I just really like it. Such a pretty package. It's a bougie too. product. Yeah. It's bougie. Like honestly, Hourglass is very. It's a high end, it's like high expensive end. brand. So it's yeah. a good time during the sale. Of course. Yeah. But it just feels so. I've good had my eye on that though. Oh, it's new, it's right? Stop touching yeah. it. Yeah. Just feels so good. So mm -hmm. if you need that. a new primer, this is the one. I also kind of forgot to mention. I wanted to share this brush that I use to buff in this flawless filter. This is the Refi double ended brush. I bought this a long time ago and I didn't like it. I didn't mm -hmm. like it for what my cream for? bronzer. Oh, okay. cream. I bought it to use with my Huda Beauty. I hated it. It's really yeah, like it's too flimsy. It doesn't pack on it's color. Too flimsy, yeah. So, but it beautifully like brushes in the flawless filter into your skin and just that. yeah it's really really nice so i've been loving using this so i feel like these two together are really great and then this little more um compact side would be for blending in cream blush i don't wear cream blush unless it's summertime so yeah. Um, I'll be using this side more. I mean, summer, it makes sense because I feel like this brush is more of like a diffusing brush. It yeah. doesn't like pack on right. all the product. It like diffuses it and gives yeah. you like that airbrush to melt it in. But yes, I really do like this brush and it's really cute. Mm -hmm. Like very pretty, neutral, aesthetic. Love that. Okay, so Abby and I have both been obsessed with NARS blush lately and we know it is pricey and you can find a lot of amazing affordable blush. So yeah. this is not necessary. You don't need this, but if you just have an unlimited budget or you've been wanting to get a nice flush. A nice flush. This is the one. So we actually have two shades. We love them both, but they're different as you yeah. can see. So Abby's is a lot more like mild baby doll, <laughs> like glowy, yeah, youthful. It's youthful. Yeah. This mm -hmm. one is definitely more um intense of a yeah. So yeah, you didn't say what this one's called. This, this one one's is Orgasm X mm -hmm. and then this one's Thrill. Look at how stunning those are, They're you guys. They're so pretty. They're so pretty, and it's so easy to like wear. I feel like mm -hmm. they're pigmented, but, no, but they're not, not too, much. too much. Like you can layer on a lot of it. I have on both of these today, but I feel like the lights are kind of like I just have this one on diffusing today. it. But yeah. you can build these up to be as mm -hmm. like intense as you want. And I just I, I feel love like them. they nailed the amount of pigmentation I would want in a blush. Right. Because sometimes if it's too pigmented, I get scared to use it, so I just yeah. like don't. And if it's not pigmented enough, I hate like feeling like I'm going overboard yeah. with it. So I just love the formula of NARS blushes. Yeah, they're really nice. So this is a product I've talked about before, but I did want to give it another mention. The Huda Beauty Tantor about that. <laughs> Cream Contour in Light. It's the best cream contour I've ever used. I I've know, you've talked before. about it in the collective haul, and then yeah. ever since then I like found it in my drawer, and now I haven't stopped using it since. It's so good. Uh, just I forgot how good it was. It's so good. The color of it, the I'm way it blends, the way, almost out. the way like products on top go, it's mm -hmm. just... It's so good. And it was, I really thought that it was discontinued because it was out of stock for so long. I'm using that today. It's like my yeah. only Yeah, I used it today. It's just stunning and nothing compares. Mm -hmm. Nothing compares. So good. Did you say, that, say we're in the shade light? Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, because they do run really dark. They do so, run dark. Yeah, just keep that in mind. <laughs> and then also another Huda Beauty product is the Loose Baking Powder in the shade Cupcake. It's a cult favorite Guys, for a reason. It's so good. I mm -hmm. just actually recently got this. I've had it for about two weeks now, but I'm obsessed. Mm -hmm. I, it's just the way it blurs out the skin and brightens the skin. Yes. It's just it's like, like a filter else. for your yeah. face. The color of it is just, it's kind of like a light pink almost. It's like yeah. a pinky beige. I but it's not too pink. To like the cherry blossom, I don't think I'd get that. Like that's been yeah. a thing lately. I'm not into that Me necessarily, neither. but this is like the perfect amount of pink yeah. like undertones that i would yeah. like in a setting powder mm -hmm. so i'm gonna pick that up during the sale if i can get my hands on it yeah i know it's been popular i know a lot of people are mm -hmm. gonna snag that yeah i feel like this will be a hot item mm -hmm. to be getting during the sale for sure but for good reason it's mm -hmm. so good if you haven't tried it try add it. to cart <laughs> another cream bronzer product this is the rare beauty bronzer stick um this is in the shade full of life and it's very dark as you can see but this is just so pigmented and so creamy and blendable. I absolutely love the way it applies, but Abby and I have discovered that if you apply it on top of your foundation, um, it can kind of mess up, break up. It can't, well, it's not even that. It's actually when you apply products on top of it. Yeah. So this doesn't layer well, basically, yeah. but 
on its own Still it's pretty. so beautiful mm -hmm. and i feel like it's perfect for daytime just to add some color yeah this shade kind of has a red undertone so mm -hmm. it gives that like sunburn look in yeah. a good way but i was gonna say if you have oily skin i feel like this would just be not good for yeah, you but if you have dry, dry skin, skin. I, we have i have combination she has dry so it works okay for us mm -hmm. but like for me it's a little oily like it it doesn't last that long and it kind of like emily said i like to set my cream bronzer with powder bronzer mm -hmm. and it just mm, i just don't like the way that she looks. she isn't super sold by this yeah but i really like it but i think i'm gonna pick up the always sunny i want to yeah, see that's that the one's... shade that makeup by Ooh, makeup by ariel is that yeah. who it was he's like obsessed with that yeah. and he's been using it um on his models or something and there's been so many tiktoks about it yeah i think it's probably gonna be sold out though it's still in stock right now but yeah, yeah. Anyways, we'll see. if you like cream up. bronzers, like bronzer sticks, this is a good okay, one. Okay, so next is an eyeshadow palette. This is the Patrick Ta eyeshadow palette. And I resisted the urge for so long, but <laughs> it was out of stock for a long it time. It was for so long. But you guys, this palette has quickly become my go-to favorite palette. Mm -hmm. I love the shades in here. Like these two down here. So pretty. I wear every single day. So blendable. And then yeah. I also like to mix this and this on the lid. And it's so pretty. It's what I have on today. I don't know if it'll be a good, like, you guys can tell. We but, did our makeup a long time ago because this is our second video we filmed of the day. Yeah. So. <laughs> but the... The eyeshadows are so pigmented but easy to blend out mm -hmm. and the it's what what sold me on this palette is the shimmers mm -hmm. let me actually swatch will you hold we're not into shimmers you guys i have to but show you these palette. shimmers this palette's different i like hate even wasting it because okay look at how creamy and pigmented that one is like this stunning. one's so pretty you guys it's like the most gorgeous champagne color like wedding day like, yeah it's ugh. so pretty and then this one right here What's this one called? Does it say? I don't think so. Well, yeah, it does. Uh, legendary? This one? Yeah, Legendary. Legendary. Okay. And then this one. I like to mix these two together, but they're just so pretty. Mm -hmm. I, those are like the more sheen those aren't the glitter ones yeah so i will use my finger to apply these and i just like tap it on my lid and it just gives more um pigment because there's ones that are actually like, have like chunkier glitters in there yeah i'm not a fan of abby like, abby doesn't really reach for those but i really like to mix this with this for my like inner corner it's really pretty um they also do have these two cream I've never used creams them. on the end here and these are really good for like gel liner or like uh, placing it underneath your lash line. I've used it for that oh, before. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it's like a, just like a whatever gel eyeliner. Ooh, yeah. I just got some all over me. But yeah, but this eyeshadow palette is like luxury. I it's feel really like and and it, blends, it blends like a dream. Yeah. It's an like absolute must have you guys. If you don't have it, pick it up. Mm -hmm. I promise you'll love it. Mm -hmm. It's really like you cannot go wrong with this. And I've already talked about this next product a few times, but in case you missed it, this is the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara, and it is life-changing. It is the best mascara for your bottom lashes because especially the brush is so tiny. Mm -hmm. It's really waterproof, and when it does get, like when you're in the shower and you're getting a lot of water on it, it just comes out in clumps. It doesn't like smear down your face, mm -hmm. and like you don't have to like rub it at all. It's the way it comes off is really like easy and effortless which i love because mm -hmm. waterproof mascaras are like they're Sometimes. not good for your lashes because yeah. i feel like you, you just have to, like rip it out yeah you rip it out and then you pull out your real lashes with it so this is such a game changer and it's i think it's only like 12 or 13 bucks i have that in my cart mm -hmm. so it's so good i need a backup so yeah. i wanted to talk about eyeliners which um i hadn't used eyeliner in years yes, until yeah. i heard about these i forget from who but i bought them and now i love eyeliner again yeah but um these it's the shades and the formula of these eyeliners that just have me just obsessed so these are the makeup by mario um master pigment pro pencil i have the shade the perfect brown which it literally is the perfect dark brown mm -hmm. i can swatch it for you guys ignore how pale i am but like this is just so do you see how creamy like yeah. honestly i just did that really messily um but then on the opposite end it has this brush so you can like um buff out that color and really blend it into the waterline or whatever you're using it yeah and it's just so nice and convenient i love that it comes with that little brush on the end and i also have the shade soft brown I believe yeah soft brown and this is a lighter brown but this is perfect for underneath the eyes because it has like a warm 
tint to it, like mm -hmm. reddish. Not I don't know sure. how to describe it, but okay, this is so messy. You guys are not gonna be sold. <laughs> I'm horrible oh at swatches. Uh, yeah, that does not look good. You guys no, are not gonna be sold. Just, just trust yeah, me. Yeah, honestly, I didn't but, think that I would need them, and then when I use them today, it's already in my cart, and I'm totally going to be buying so them. They're so creamy, guys. So creamy. So I know easy. soft brown's out of stock right now, I think. Oh, is it? But the perfect brown is. I'm gonna get the perfect brown because it's so nice. Because my lashes are really sparse right now, and I was like freaking out. I was like, do I need to glue lashes on top? And I was like, no, just use this in your waterline. And the minute I use that eyeliner in my upper waterline. Mm -hmm. It made my lashes look so much more Fuller. full mm -hmm. and I felt a million times better mm -hmm. I was like that just saved me because mm -hmm. I didn't know what to do I was like you know when you have lash extensions and like they're they're on their last, they're on few, their days. last few days and you're and I have a fill in two days But I need that fill now mm -hmm. and it just you feel you just don't feel confident when they're like that So I haven't been having eyelash extensions in a long time. Yeah, but. but anyways that really just made a big difference mm -hmm. so i'm totally getting that for when i need you know fuller looking lashes speaking of we might as well talk about these yeah while we're on the topic so these are our favorite strip lashes um from sephora so these are actually do look like lash extensions like, yeah they mimic them a lot yeah they, they have, have like a little cat eye effect and then they have like an extra like the ends are a little bit more full than the than the inner corners mm -hmm. so it just really like lifts the it eye lifts the and eyes. it's very flattering it's like a day mm -hmm. or nighttime lash so i really like that about these they're very curly and yeah. just so pretty and the band is so thin yes so very thin, easy to use that would be a selling point because i have lash extensions so i don't wear lashes um but well, i remember when i did wear strips if they had a thick band oh, oh god, god no Horrible. I can never get into the to the lily lashes because of the no, band. I so hate, thick. I hate those. Yeah, they were not flattering on us. Those but are really these good. are really, really good. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and move on to some lip products. I feel like we always get asked about our lip combo and it's mm -hmm. always like a random it's lip so... liner. I can't tell you which lip liner we're always using because it's usually like a Kylie or a KKW mm -hmm. or like a random one. A random one. Uh, my lip I have so combo many. is discontinued. But I have backups, so yeah. I feel bad even like being like, oh, it's this and this. You can't, you can't get it. Yeah. So, but 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 we do want to talk about two lip yes. products that we love, and I'm wearing two of them today. I'm wearing the KKW Nude Two lip liner. I forget 1.5 or two. So hopefully she comes out with those again soon because they're our favorite. But that's besides the point. This is the lip product that I've been using, like the lipstick. This is very similar to the shade of Child Star, which you guys know we love that lipstick and we still use it sometimes in videos. But I it's use it discontinued. every day. I still have like four yeah, backups. She but she was prepared. Yeah, I was prepared. Um, but this is the Always On Liquid Lipstick from Smashbox in the shade Fair Game, and it is very similar to Child Star. So if you have been on the hunt for something like it then that's the one i'm wearing it today oh that does look really similar it's literally like the same thing oh nice so. if i swatch it is it never gonna come off no it will okay. i mean you might just have to use like micellar water or something but it's so similar that's really pretty. i almost want you to go get child star and put it next to it that looks almost identical i will say i can just tell by the look of it it's a little more pink no like, this is more peach so then once you think yeah this is a, it's just the lighting the um description is like a light peach nude yeah, but it's really pretty. Yeah, it's you can very, tell it's a very similar tone to my similar. lipstick. And then the next one we both love is mm -hmm. a, is one you'd want to only use like in the center of your lips to make them look more pouty. It's the Sephora Rouge Cream Lip Stain in the shade Nude 30, Blush. 32. Oh, 32. Why did I yeah. think it's called Nude Blush? Is it called I think it blush? is called that. Okay. It's a really pale, neutral, like muted nude. Mm -hmm. And it's really... You, Probably, yeah. It, it literally looks really like, a, like a dead skin tone. But yeah. that's what we like in just the center of our lip. Yeah, I just put it in the center and blot, and it's really matte, and it stays on all day, and it's just... I love a good pale nude. Mm -hmm. So these two are really nice. It's very similar to Jeffree Star's I'm Nude. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go ahead and move away from makeup products. This is a tanning product. This is the Isle of Paradise Buffing Blending Brush, whatever. This is so good to apply your fake tan on your face, your neck, your chest, your hands, your, hands, your feet, and ankles. It's really dense and just like... So, it's super soft. Too. Yeah. I was really surprised when I used so it, soft. just how soft it was. Yeah. And I feel like it is a little big for the face. Yeah. I have a little bit of a hard time with the face, but I like using it for the neck and my hands mostly, mm -hmm. like just to get 
in there mm -hmm. and Laura put us on this Laura was raving about this for so long and we finally tried it and it is it is really really good um, to use in those targeted areas mm -hmm. so definitely recommend if you fake tan and you want to you know level up a bit check this out this mm -hmm. is something I recently picked up because of Jaclyn Hill and I've been using it the past few nights and I love it so I'm gonna mention it it is the Kiehl's cream day corpse soy milk and honey whipped body butter with shea and jojoba butters it's just a really thick moisturizing Ooh, body butter so to oh my gosh it smells so good I love the smell of it Mm -hmm. and the texture of it is really great and ugh, the way it just melts into your skin you like get it out of the tub and it's really thick and then when you rub it in your hands it kind of melts and it's just it makes your body feel so moisturized yeah. and just ugh, so nice i've been obsessed with like thick body butters and lotions lately yeah um i don't have it with me because i already ran through it but during the last sale i bought the josie moran pro retinol body butter and I was obsessed with it. My skin had never felt softer. I kind of want to get ever. That. Yeah. It's so good. And I'm probably going to pick it up again during the sale. Even though I was telling myself, you don't need it. I've been trying cheaper options and nothing now compares. Yeah. So well, I think I'm going to get it. Retinol is so good. So, but we only, I, I only use it almost the face. retinol or not, but it just made yeah. my skin so smooth and mm -hmm. soft. I'm going to so, do that. Yeah, that was really good. I'm going to have that linked below, but I don't have it to show. Yeah. But um, moving on, let's do some perfume, shall we? just we? have one perfume. So, yeah, we have one perfume. This is the Valentino. Oh, God, we should have looked up. We should have looked up how to say it because people always correct okay. us. But um, I'm not even going to try and say it. It's just the Valentino perfume. We'll have it linked below. But this smells so good. This is a perfect spring and summer scent. I don't really reach for it much in the fall winter months i feel like it could be an all year long scent if you ask me but it is it's a really so good. beautiful scent so it has italian bergamot orange blossom absolute crystal moss accord it's a floral warm florals mm -hmm. um yeah it just smells it smells really good it also has some vanilla in it as well so i just love it, it just yeah it smells really good and like sexy mm -hmm. you know when viva la juicy came out and it was like the hot girl scent like yeah. that's what it's kind of reminding me of yeah well that but, like the upgraded viva la juicy yeah you well that's I mean? ariana grande cloud but yeah yeah but that one's still a little bit more warm than yeah. this one this one's mm -hmm. a little bit more florally mm -hmm. um, more spring summer vibe so yeah talk about some hair care that we love all mine are by the brand Orbe. I've been loving their products lately, and so I just have to mention them. Yeah, so the first so one will be the Orbe Cleanse Clarifying Shampoo. This is like, oh, <laughs> that was a mess. This is like a foaming shampoo, but pretty much what it is is it's like a it's a clarifying shampoo. So it if you feel like you your hair has a lot of product buildup from either you're using like edge control and gel in your hair to like wear hairstyles like this or a lot of dry shampoo, or you maybe over purple shampooed or something, this is really great to like break down all the product that's built up in your hair and really give your head like a deep clean. Yeah. Your hair feels so clean afterwards. And I love, like it's really easy mm -hmm. to like lather. lather into your hair because I've tried one before and it kind of turned me off clarifying shampoos forever because of the way it it didn't like lather and dried out my hair this doesn't dry out my hair at all this is a no, really but you don't want to use this every time that you know that you shampoo your I hair. probably use this about once a month yeah yeah so it will last a long time too okay and also the um Orbe gold lust transformative mask I love so this mask. Good. It's so, so good. You pretty much just replace your conditioner with it when you feel like your hair needs extra hydration and it's like getting, you know, dry or whatever. So I leave it in for like five to 10 minutes while I'm shaving. It smells so mm, Oh my God, the good. smell of their products is next level. Mm, it smells so good. And you feel just like really bougie and luxury. Mm -hmm. Like this, the it's packaging. Experience. Yeah, I just, I love everything about this brand, mm -hmm. but like specifically these products, mm -hmm. so good. And then the last thing is the Orbe Split End treatment for or beautiful color treatment so this kind of is like the olaplex like number the bond smooth there it's number six it pretty much has replaced that for me but i'll show you guys like the consistency of it so and it, nice again it smells so good mm -hmm. and it's just really hydrating and like smooths out your hair i personally like to mix this with the gold lust hair oil oh. which is my favorite hair oil it's very expensive though so i only buy it during the sale um 
I wish that your esthetician license got discounts on Orbe. I know, me Kinda too. Kind of sucks, but um, I might end up buying the hair oil again because mm -hmm. I'm almost out. It's so good. But though. it does last you a long time. Um, but mixing these two and just like lathering your hair in it from like, you know, not the root, but like, you know, the sh like shaft. I, is that what it's called? I love the like shaft the jaw down. down. Yeah. Yeah. It's just very hydrating. Yeah, so. it is. And then a dry shampoo Abby and I have been just loving and using constantly. This is the Moroccan Oil Light Tones Purple Shampoo. They also have a dark tone, so it's purple really shampoo. nice. Oh, dry, dry shampoo, shampoo, my bad. I was but. thinking because it gives the effect of purple shampoo. Yeah, I was like, you can see on the lid, like there's purple tones. remaining. Yeah. So it kind of, it kind of tones your hair while giving it the, like, taking out oh, the oil. That's her son. That's, oh geez. That's Tatum. But yeah, but it's I do, really good. Yeah, this is really good. It's a little pricey, so it's, Sorry if you guys hear that. <laughs> but yeah, Ashley Thomas actually put us onto this. So shout out Ashley for seriously putting us on this new thing. It's really good. So I want to talk about a couple skincare. I know I'm trying to branch off from Sephora skincare, but there are a few products that I just really love. Um, mm -hmm. And Dermalogica is now sold at Sephora, and I don't. I I think Dermalogica is a great yeah, skincare line. So I don't love everything. Trust me, there's a lot I don't like, but there's a few really good products that mm -hmm. I want to share. So one of them being the Daily Microfoliant. This is probably one of my favorite skincare products of all time. It's like a number one seller for Dermalogica. It is an exfoliant and it's like a um, powder. I'm not gonna do it because it makes a mess, but it's a rice bran powder and you're just gonna wanna pour some in your hand. Actually, there's a couple ways you can use it. I like to pour it, um, pour some in my hand and add a couple drops of water. Really rub it between your hands until kind of like that grittiness almost goes away. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna wanna massage it into your um, skin in upward motion, circular motions for like 30 seconds, then rinse off. Or if you want to, you can, um, pour this into your cleanser and do like a power cleanse. So instead of mixing this with water, okay, you mix it with cool. your cleanser so you can cleanse and exfoliate at the same time. It's nice. Kind of kill two birds with one stone. Mm -hmm. So I just really like this product. It's really, really good. And I highly recommend you pick it up. And then I don't have the next product I want to talk about with me, but I've tried it on many occasions and I use it at school at the time during facial treatments. It's the Dermalogica Skin Smoothing Cream and that moisturizer is just so good. It's it's very like thick and it just makes your skin look really glowy and hydrated and it, it, it does kind of like smooth the skin as well. The one thing about it I don't like is the smell. <laughs> Not crazy about the smell, but the way it makes your skin look and feel is so worth, worth it. the smell. Like the smell goes away, but yeah. the way that your skin feels and looks all day is is just so good nice. for dry skin. I'm yeah, assuming. it's like a crowd favorite in mm -hmm. for all skin types. Yeah. yeah, I've tried a lot of different moisturizers while being in school, and that one is my favorite one I've tried. Okay, and then next up is just a lip product. This is the Tatcha Kisu Lip Mask. It's so this good. Is such a bougie product. Yeah, it's I just so love extra. <laughs> the texture of this is what I love. Mm -hmm. It's so what like thick and it's a jelly on mm -hmm. your lips and I and I love the consistency of it yeah. also oh it doesn't really have much of a smell but it this is I like this better than the Laneige I ran out of that so quick yeah I, I run out the of crap it. out of it I get mm -hmm. so excited to use it that I just go crazy with it it feels so good it's so like you don't want to stop like using the gold exactly. spoon and just going exactly. over and then you get more and you're, you're just like oh my gosh it's like a luxury experience and a little lip mask I don't know why I keep it in the box next to my bed I'm weird but <laughs> you are weird because I like it's so cute I, it's film. because I don't want to lose the little spoon oh so I yeah. keep it in here you're funny, oh weird, you're but so funny. yeah, I love that stuff. It's really good and it's expensive for like a lip product. So pick it up when it's on a little discount. Okay, babes, that is everything that we wanted to share with you guys today. Everything will be linked in the description so you can shop through our links. That would mean absolutely everything to us. We are so grateful to everyone who goes out of their way to shop through Seriously. our links and support our channel. Thank you so much for that. And we hope you guys got some good ideas for your Sephora. Haul. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to press submit order. Yeah. I cannot wait. I'm actually gonna go in store, I think, because I feel like that kind of is like more exciting. Yeah, I feel like the last right couple away. sales I've been ordering online, I actually wanna go like in store this time and well, kind of experience 
like the sale and like look at what what they have see what's new like maybe talk to the employees yeah i don't know i just kind of want to make it more special this time so i yeah. might go to the actual store but we hope you guys are excited for the sale as well and leave in the comments what your guys's favorites are what yeah. you think we need to pick up because we always love hearing your guys recommendations we really hope you babes enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a like if you did enjoy thank you so much for watching we love you so much and we'll see you babes very soon in our next video XOXO, XO, 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 XO,